a very good morning to everyone miss rita here children today in max of class 6 chapter number 5 decimal fraction we are going to see practice set number 17 student let's see the division of decimal fraction let's take one example 6.2 divided by 2 We'll convert the decimal number into fraction. Sixty-two upon ten divide two upon one. Two is the numerator, so denominator will be one. Take the fraction sixty-two upon ten divide. We'll convert into multiply. Second fraction two upon one will become reciprocal one upon two. Now we'll cut the sixty-two by two. Two one zero two. Two three is a six two one is a two. Here we get thirty one upon ten. Ten means after one number decimal. So here we get the answer three point one. Let's see the practice set number seventeen question number one. Four point eight divided by two. Convert the four point eight into fraction. That is forty eight upon ten divided by Two is given two upon one. So forty-eight upon ten divided converted into multiply, and the two upon one will convert into reciprocal one upon two. So again we'll cut two one jar two, two two jar four, two four jar eight, and we get twenty-four upon ten. Ten means after one number decimal. So here we get answer two point. Four. Now we'll take the second sum. Seventeen point five divided by five. Convert the seventeen point five into fraction. That is one seventy five upon ten. Divide five upon one. So one seventy five upon ten divided will convert into multiply. Next fraction that is five upon one will convert into reciprocal one upon five. So five one jump five. Five three is a fifteen. Two is given to the five became twenty five. Five five is a twenty five. So here we get thirty five upon ten. So in the decimal answer is three point five. And question number three is homework. Question number four. Thirty two point five divided by twenty five. Convert the decimal into fraction. Three hundred and twenty-five upon ten divide twenty-five upon one. Next, three upon three hundred and twenty-five upon ten divide will convert into multiply. Next fraction is twenty-five upon one. Reciprocal is one upon twenty-five. We will cut with twenty-five. Five five is twenty-five. Five six is thirty. Two is given. Five five is twenty-five. Again, we can cut by five. Five and just five. Here we got how much? Sixty-five was there. So five and just five. One is given again. Five three is a fifteen. Here we get thirteen upon ten. So answer is one point three. After this, we'll see the question number two. A road is four kilometer eight hundred meter long. If trees are planted on both its sides at interval of nine point six meter, how many trees were planted? So the length of the road is given four kilometer and eight hundred meter. So trees planted on both the side of the road, and the distance between two trees is nine point six meter. So here we have to find how many trees were planted on both the side of the Road. The solution is first. It is given four kilometer and eight hundred meter. We convert into meter four thousand eight hundred meter. So the distance between two trees is given nine point six meter. So we, here we will divide tree planted one side of the road. We will find four thousand eight hundred divided by nine point six. So four thousand eight hundred divided by Nine point six converted into fraction nine ninety six upon ten. 
4800 multiply by 10 upon 96 the reciprocal is 10 upon 96 so we will cut by the 12 12 8 is 96 12 4 is 48 0 is 0 0 is 0 here we get 8 and 400 so 8 1 is 8 8 5 is 40 8 0 0 so 50 multiplied by 10 we get 500 trees but student in starting also we have planted a tree on 0 meter so we will add one tree with the 500 here we get 501 trees are planted on one side of the road but we have to find the trees on both the side of the road so tree planted on both the side of the road equal to 501 multiplied by 2 we get 1002 therefore 1002 trees are planted on both the side of the road now Pradhnya exercise regularly by walking along a circular path on a field. If she walk a distance of 3.825 km in 9 rounds of the path, how much does she walk in one round? Student, Pradhnya walk in a circular path. In, in 9 rounds, she covered 3.825 km. So here we have to find how much does she walk in one round. Solution distance covered in nine round is 3.825. Distance covered in one round equal to 3.825 divided by 9. So decimal number will convert into fraction. After the decimal, three number is given. So upon 1000 divided by 9 upon 1. 3825 upon 1000 divided will convert into multiply 9 upon 1 means 1 upon 9 reciprocal so 9 1 is 9 9 4 is 36 2 is given became 22 9 2 is 18 the main 4 became 45 9 5 is 45 so here we get 425 upon 1000 convert this fraction into decimal after three digit decimal so 425 already three digits so we'll put decimal and put the zero front 0 0.425 kilometer so pradnya walk 0 0.425 kilometer in one round now question number four is given a pharmaceutical manufacturer brought 0 0.25 quintal of harida a medicinal plant for rupees 9500 what is the cost per quintal of harida so one quintal means 1000 kg so here find pharmaceutical manufacturer they brought 0 0.25 quintal of harida and here we have to in the cost of 0 0.25 quintal of harida for rupees 9500 and we have to find the cost of 1 quintal means 100 kg. Solution the cost of 0 0.25 quintal of Arida is rupees 9500. The cost of 1 quintal of Arida equal to 9500 divided by 0 0.25. So we will convert the decimal number into fraction. We get 25 upon 100. So 9500 multiplied by the fraction will convert into reciprocal 100 upon 25 25 only 25 25 4 is a hundred and we get 9500 multiplied by 4 so I'm sorry 38,000 therefore the cost of Arida per quintal is rupees 38,000 do the rough work with the pencil of multiplication 9500 multiplied by 4 I hope you have understood practice set number 17. Thank you for watching this video.